Clear lakes are great for bathing, fishing, water sports and supplying drinking water. Unfortunately, many lakes are turbid due to an overgrowth of algae, some of which are toxic. Too much algae in the water usually comes from too much nutrients, like phosphorus and nitrogen. These nutrients mainly come from fertilizers used in agriculture and from municipal wastewater. For decades, we've concentrated on removing phosphorus from wastewater, but this has had little effect in shallow lakes because phosphorus is released from the sediment. Here, it might help to decrease the amount of nitrogen, the other important nutrient. Many scientists are skeptical of decreasing the amount of nitrogen because certain types of blue-green algae can simply get their nitrogen out of the air if there is not enough in the water. That's why we wanted to find out whether decreasing the amount of nitrogen in the water actually decreases algae and improves water quality, or whether in the long term it just leads to an excess of blue-green algae that can gather their own nitrogen from the air. We've been monitoring Lake Mugelsee in Germany for nearly 40 years. We measure the concentration of phosphorus and nitrogen and the amount and type of algae, as well as many other things. During these 40 years, the amount of algae actually decreased by about three quarters. Phosphorus stayed very high because it was released from the sediment. The decrease in the algae that we observed must have come from the decrease in nitrogen concentrations. In fact, the blue-green algae that can fix their own nitrogen from the air didn't proliferate at all. They even decreased. That's why reducing the amount of nitrogen flowing into shallow lakes like Mugelzi can improve water quality. If you would like to know more, please send us an email at IGB or have a look at our journal article.